Testing. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you guys can hear me and see me. I just got back in time to set this all up. Hopefully it goes all right. Um, so welcome to another Monday live. Hopefully you guys are having a good, good Monday. Enjoying the sunshine if you've got it down your sides. Let me just get my comment box up to see if you guys are chatting and commenting. Uh, hopefully you guys are well. Right, so let me get my box up. Right, Laura. Oh, let me just sort this out. Hello, Laura. Hopefully you are well. Denise, good afternoon to you. Hopefully you are well. Assas, it's good to see you keep coming back. I don't see you in Discord. Jump in Discord and join the group, join the community, join the conversation. You're here every Monday, jump in Discord. But it's good to see you. I was gonna call you tag. Um, Dorina, are you live? I don't know, are you live? As it says, the chat has moved. I don't know why it says the chat's moved, but yes, I'm live as you can see, you're on screen right now. But I don't know why it says that, that's got to be a YouTube thing I would imagine, but the chat has not moved. Let me extend that a little bit. Uh, thank you for your efforts, I've passed my theory heading for practical next, wow, doing a practical next Monday, congratulations. Let me just give you some of that, some of your props. Um, let me know in the chat, where are you taking your driving test? Well, that's good though. That, and that, I, I keep saying it, if you are doing your theory, try to do some driving lessons beside it. Um, the reason being because he's passed his theory test. He doesn't say when he passed it, but he's passed his theory test and he's looking to take his driving test on Monday. So fingers crossed, all goes well and he'd be a driver. But yeah, type in the chat, let me know where, what part of the country you're taking your test. Good afternoon, Neymar. Hopefully you are well. Emmanuel, good afternoon. It's good to see you again. Good afternoon. Portia, you're back. It's nice to see you. Well, Thank you for coming back, appreciate that. Hopefully you are well. Fisherman Flower, hello. Naomi Bells, I ain't seen your name before, but um, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're well. Frank, it's good to see you. Hopefully you are keeping well. Oh, look, Cressa, nice to see ya. How's the studying going? Um, I know you put in a couple, couple of conversations in uh, Discord earlier on in the week, but let me know how your um, studying is going. Thank you so much, John. I joined in May 2023, passed my theory test in May, and I passed my practical test in July. Your videos were my only resource. Oh, it's worked out for you. Well done for passing. So you are also a driver. Are you driving now or are you just looking to buy a car or just done your test and just letting the, um, your two year probation pass, so to speak? So let me know, are you actually driving? And if you are, what's it feel like to be driving on your own? Chris is giving love to everyone. <laughs> I appreciate that. This was so helpful for me, thank you, I'm still learning. You're still learning of Rama. Again, jump in Discord. A lot of those guys are jumping in there, giving each other support and answering the um, each other's questions. So jump in there if you're still learning, um, learn some more. Can never learn too much. Good afternoon, sir, first time here, Man Manu. Um, welcome, welcome, I'm glad you can make it. Hopefully you enjoy and keep coming back. Martha, hi. 
Mr. McFly, do you have any training or app where I could be training, please? The only app that I would, I won't say the only app, the app that I use is Driving Test Success. But any apps out there um, you can use, but go for the paid version. Do not go for the free version. You're wasting your time. So DVSA comes to mind. Fairy Test Pro is another one. I think I mentioned last week James May, but he talks a hell of a lot in that one. But it's still a good app. So any apps that are paid, um, go for that. Um, and if you want more help, I'm just trying to find your comment again. There we go. If you're not already, jump in Discord. You're going to get a lot of help in there. There's everyone helping each other in there as well. Um, last week was very productive, all the questions and being answered in there. And a lot of resources. I'm starting to put links in there because you guys are asking questions about hazard perception. Um, I think road signs came up. Road studs came up. So the links are now in the resource section. So if you guys are struggling with road signs, hazard perception, road markings, the links are in the resource section of Discord. And also um, the Study With Me series has got the link in there. So if you're struggling on any particular category, just go in there, click on the link, it takes you straight to the um, Study With Me series. So you don't even have to jump on YouTube and search for it. It's all there for you. I want to get my provisional license next year and then get a car. I'm assuming you're under 17 if you're saying you want to get your license next year. Let me know how old you are in the chat. Just type how old you are in the chat. I don't see why you're waiting until next year unless you're under age. Pass my figure on Thursday, um, 47 out of 50, 51 out of 75. Again, I give you your props on that, Sharon. Well done to you. Let me know what your next steps are, taking driving lessons or looking to book a driving test. Can I just stretch this out a little bit? My mouse is playing up. Um, this channel is amazing. We're looking for some videos on YouTube and my first video about theory is here. So I just stopped here and feel confidence to my test, thank you. That's what the channel is about, and I appreciate the words. Um, good thing YouTube recommended the channel. Again, if you haven't already, jump in Discord. You're going to get a lot more help than the lives and the videos. You get help that's personal to you as well. If you ask any direct questions, so a lot of you guys helping out, helping each other out. And not only the good thing about it as well, the ones that have passed are still in there helping you out, giving it, giving you their experience. Hi, Evelyn. Hopefully you are fine. Good morning, Dorian from Ontario. Unfortunately, I can't drive here. Driving here is crazy. I've got family over there. I've been over there a couple of times um, and I don't drive over there. So on the wrong side of the road and go through red lights, their system is totally different. So I don't even drive over there. So yeah, I don't blame you, to be honest. Kind of crazy. But their bus service is really good. I will give them that. Um, oh, it's going great. Your videos are happening a lot. I'm doing three mock tests a day. I'm more positive. That's the main thing that you are remaining positive and confident. Um, Cause that's all it's about, being confident that you know your stuff. So I'm glad it's helping. For the moment, I'm scoring 43, 45 on the ferry test. I've just seen today, there's a place for ferry test on the 31st August near me. I'm thinking about booking. Naomi, if you've seen that day, I'm not going to be honest with you, that day's probably gone. Because um, the dates don't last long. 31st is next week, isn't it? You're getting 43 to 45, so you are passing the mock test. If that's constant, you're passing it consistently, then why not take it? Because you're passing the mock test, you might as well go and take it. So if the date's there, I would take it and see how you get on. As I keep saying, it's only, it's only going to go two ways. You're going to pass it or fail it. If you pass it, happy days, you move on to the driving. And if you fail it, you're going to have a baseline of knowing where your weakness is or strengths, depending on how you want to look at it. But if you're getting 43 out of 45, you are passing the mock test as long as it's consistently getting 43, 45. So you're more than ready for it. But all you've got to do is when you go in there, any questions you're not sure of, again, work on the safety factor. When we do the mock test in a minute, 
if any questions come up i can show you how to break it down and look for the golden nuggets taking my lessons at the moment has 17 lessons hopefully the lessons are going well what have you done have you done reversing um 17 lessons is that 17 one hour lessons or 17 double because it makes a slight difference but yeah have you started reversing yet what are you struggling with if anything on the driving put it in the chat let me know and i can help you out give you some tips and advice i'm 20 i'm assuming that's to the yeah so that's the question that you not question the statement you made about provisional license. If you're 20, why are you waiting to next year to get your provisional? That's the question. A car, I can understand. Provisional, I don't. Get your provisional now. Don't have to use it, at least it's there. And plus the provisional's ID as well, so it gives you another form of ID. Evelyn, yes, I'm, I am. My fairy test is going to be this Friday at 9 a.m a morning test lovely um good luck with it let us know how you get on if you've got any particular questions that you want cleared up now um ask it away in the chat and let me sort it out for you but good luck with it on friday the last time i did pass my theory test pass hazards but filled multiple questions um Question would be how long ago was the test? If it was a long time ago, then you're back to square one, to be fair. If it was recent times, study the categories. But again, if there's any particular questions you are struggling with, put it in the chat or better still join Discord and put it in the group and let everyone chime in. I'm hoping that's not rude, but um, um, I don't read that. So, but I'm putting it up there and trusting you. That is kind. Hello, hello, how are you? No problem, that's what I'm here for. Definitely that's what I'm here for. Terry, hi. I have my test today at 7 p.m. Wow, that's dedication on the live as well. I've gained a lot from your videos that have been very helpful. Thank you for ho hoping for the best today. Thank you, hoping for the best today. Um, test today turn up 15 minutes you got you should be there 15 minutes before if you read the email they sent you you should be there 15 minutes before i would turn up for about half six so you can chill if they've got space to get you in they get you in a lot quicker as well as soon as someone comes out someone goes in that's what i would do so you're not rushing you're not stressing when you go in there this is my advice to you when you go in there obviously try to stay as calm as possible nerves is a good thing it's not a bad thing by the way um, stay as calm as possible, breathe. As much as I keep saying that, people say, why do you mean, yeah, I breathe anyway. I'm talking about deep breath, so you get oxygen to the brain. And remember, you are looking for safe options or little clues in the question. If you still don't know what the answer is, when you've read the question and you've gone through the four options, if you've done what the answer is, flag it, don't stress, flag it, move on. And then when you finish, you go back to the flagged one. So the time that you've got left, you can dedicate to the questions that you flagged. And if you still don't know what the answer is, again, still don't stress, never stress, work backwards, work out what it can't be. There's always one stupid answer you can get rid of, then you're one in three. Sometimes there's two stupid answers, now you've got 50-50. And that's the way you, you need to work. So if you don't, this is for everyone, by the way, if you don't know what the answer is, don't freak out. Work backwards, work out it can't be that one. It can't be that one. Sometimes by default, you just get the right answer if you get rid of the stupid ones anyway. So don't always have to work forwards, the one in four, work backwards, get rid of whatever it is that doesn't make sense. And at least you're left with one in three. Even if you take a calculator, I guess you've got a better chance than one in four. But I wish you luck with that. Let us know how you get on. Joe Taylor, I don't see, I've not seen your name before, but welcome, welcome, welcome if you are our first time. Evelyn, again, not a problem. Roop, not seen your name before. But welcome. I'm 16 and wait until next year to get my provisional license and then get a car. I was 16, you're 16. You can still get your license now. Again, why wait for the provisional? Why wait till you're 17? You can get a 
provisional license now. It just means you can't drive until you're 17, obviously. But get your provisional now, get it done and dusted and get it out of the way. And then when you turn 17, go and take driving lessons. And then what you can do in the meantime, while you're waiting till you're 17, study for the theory test. Because I had the people, I think it was three weeks ago, she studied, uh, she got a license at 16 and a half. And when she turned 17, she literally came to our course, done the theory test and passed that with flying colors because she already studied. So the knowledge was really strong. And then literally she's waiting for a test date now, which I believed we booked for her. I want to say November, her test date is. And so literally if she passes in November, she literally passed about two, what we're now, we're August, September, October, November, November, three months. So three months after her 17th birthday, if all goes well on the date of November. So that's what you do. So let me just repeat that. You're 16, there's nothing wrong with applying for, applying for your license. You can get it at 16, but it starts on your 17th birthday in terms of the car side of it. If you want to ride a motorbike in the meantime, you can ride a motorbike at 16 with a provisional license. Study for your theory test. When you turn 17, take your theory test, get that nailed, and then you can start your driving. And if all goes well, with this before you're 18, you could be a driver. Seventeen. Oh, well, I didn't see that message. You're 17 in January. Yeah, do your license now. You're more than um, six months before your birthday. September, October, November, December, January, five months. Yeah, do it now. P apply for your provisional now. Why wait? Get it over and done with. Give your motivation and incentive as well. Not a problem. There's so many of them out there and I, I couldn't tell you to be honest, I don't use them. Um, but I would jump on Google and type that in and see what comes up and they'll have obviously X amount of stars and, and reviews. But I can't tell you which one's the best one so I don't use them. And there's lots of common ones out there as well so you wanna be careful because they charge an arm and a leg and they shouldn't be charging that. I'm assuming you're saying I've passed. Um, if that's the case, congratulations and well done to you. Let me know in the chat um, what your next step is. How often can I practice to pass the theory test? Man? As often as you want, you're studying on your um, personal basis. Study as often as you need. Obviously, if you're passing on a regular basis, you don't need that much studying. If you're struggling with it, you're gonna need more studying. So that's a personal thing in terms of how you study and also can you fill it in with your personal life work-life balance so there's no there's no limit if that makes sense uh, mark hey up my test results were not good enough i missed out by five points on the ultra for choice my first test at 62. My, I missed that on five. So if that's the, if you're saying you failed it by, you missed that five, 43, 38, that means you got 38 out of 50. Um, it's not what you want to hear, where if you got 38, you wasn't ready for the test, but it's all fixable. Um, the paperwork they gave you, look at the categories, because you would have got a lot of categories wrong if you got 38 out of 50, and then um, restudy those categories and then once you've restudied those categories, build up your knowledge stronger, then go back to doing mock tests and hopefully you start to pass those mock tests. And then I would book another one. I wouldn't book another one just yet. Not if you're getting 38 out of 50 for the real test. Again, I stress, join Discord and you can get direct help and get you up to speed a lot quicker than you doing it on your own. I sent an email, my phone rang, sent you. I think you need to type this one again. I'm not getting that. I sent email my file RAM. I sent you, I hope Rice is thanks. Not understanding that. If you sent me an email, I didn't receive it. So the question I got asked is when did you send it? Again, I stress, jump in Discord and then you can upload your certificate. Then I can see exactly what categories you got wrong, how many questions you got wrong in that category. And I can advise you a lot better than I can on the live. And that's for all of you. If you are really struggling with your um, 
with your theory test, jump in Discord and ask questions. You can take a screenshot of the questions on the app and upload it. And then I can even show you how to break it down for that particular question. And um, there's uh, a Mran was doing that over the weekend. And um, I'm hoping I'm saying this right. Delope was doing it over the weekend. He'd done a lot of screenshots of his mock test that he was doing and I gave him the answers, golden nuggets. He was really, really happy and real pleased. So like I said, the Discord is for all you guys to help each other, me to help you and help you on a personal note. On the live, it's normally all the videos that come out on the Thursday, it's more generic for everyone, but on the Discord it's personal. Hello Jay, you are right? Hope you are fine. At first it was one and a half lessons, but only fortnightly when my instructor changed it to one hour one hourly lessons where most stuff haven't done reverse or bay parking yet. So let me just read that again. I'm struggling. At first it was one and a half hours, but only fortnightly. Okay. Instructor changed it to one hour lessons when most stuff haven't done reverse or bay parking yet. Okay, um, <clears throat> I, I would, re if you're trying to change it, there's got to be a reason why it's changed to an hour, but I would suggest as you approach test standard, try to get it on a regular basis so it sticks rather than a fortnightly because what happens when you do it fortnightly or not on a regular basis, you tend to go backwards slightly and then when you take that lesson, you go forwards to where you was and then you move forwards even more. If you do it on a weekly basis, you're always moving forward pretty much straight away rather than going backwards trying to remember what you did two weeks ago. But yeah, try to get regular lessons as you approach test standard. Um, you haven't done reverse or bay parking. Is that reversing in general? You have done no reversing or just revert or bay parking? Would you have shown me, tell me on YouTube? I've been asked it a lot um, and I've not got around to filming it only because of time constraint. My advice is jump on YouTube, um, type it in. It's not me, you don't have to wait for me to do that. There's lots of instructors out there that um, has done videos on show me, tell me. The one thing I will add about the show me, tell me questions, one, you can't fail your driving test for it, by the way. Um, if you don't know the answer to the tell me question, you're going to pick up a minor thought. The tell me question is done at the beginning of the driving test, just in case you guys didn't know, um, before you leave the, the test centre. So if you don't know the answer, you're going to pick up one minor thought. So technically you leave the test centre with 14 minors. And the show me one's done on the move. And the only way you're going to fail for that if you lost control of the car when you try to show him how to do whatever it is he asks you to do. Um, so I wouldn't stress, a lot of people stretch out about show me, tell me, but you can't fail on it. And the other thing I would suggest when you watch YouTube videos on show me, tell me, do not memorise it, parrot fashion, the examiner's not interested in the full spiel that you get from the YouTube. All he's interested in is keywords. So for the bonnet stuff, underneath the bonnet, um, brake fluid, engine coolant, windscreen wash, and checking the oil, that's the four that's underneath the bonnet. All these interests is the key words, which is minimum, maximum. Once you get that into your sayings, minimum, it's got to be between minimum, maximum, blah, blah, blah. Um, you're good to go. But yeah, jump on YouTube, type in show me, tell me. You don't have to wait for me to do that. Uh, it's going to be a long time before I get around to that. I'm on it already. Okay, Mark, brilliant. That's great. I'm 17 year old seizures this year so I know I have to wait a year to be seizure free to drive can you still apply for a provisional license right you can apply for a provisional license but obviously you're going to have to declare the health issues and they would determine whether they're going to give it to you I can't see why they wouldn't but they obviously will may as you already said in your comment you've got to wait a year to be seizure free so I wouldn't imagine they will stop you from getting a provisional license they will stop you from driving but in saying that you've got an oh, so let me just pull it up again i have to wait a year to be seizure free to drive 
you would know more if you are saying that you got this a year seizure free then obviously you know more than me on that because you're it's affected directly but if you're taking driving lessons i'm not sure why you need to be seizure free unless it's really really bad but like i said that check out i can't answer that but in terms of getting a, a provisional license i don't see why not it should be a provisional license but maybe with restrictions but it doesn't stop you from getting it or applying for it anyway that's for sure i want to know if it's if i practice the 14 one driving test app and remember all the questions very well will i be ready to give the very test or will i have to take support of some other now right first of all i'm going to pick up on what you just said then i'm going to read this out I want to know if I practice the 4-in-1 driving test app and remember all the questions very well. Once you've got remember, that says to me you're going to memorise the answers. If that's the case, you ain't going to be ready for a, a ferry test because you're memorising the answers. Let me, well, I'll tell you what, before, let me start this. I'm going to come back to that route. I'm going to come back to that. Let me just do the over, overview of the ferry test and then I'll come back to that. And that may, this may make you understand what I'm talking about. So the ferry test, again, I never assume, let me just get rid of this. I never assume that you guys know how the ferry test work because I get week in, week out, people's coming to the classroom and not knowing it's 50 questions or it's multiple choice or how it works. So it's a multiple choice, it's 50 questions. You need to get 43 out of 50 correct. And you've got 50, a total of 57 minutes to do that. Um, and then once you've done that and you sign that off, you move on to the hazard perception. There's 14 video clips on the hazard perception. One of them has got a double. So there's 13 video clips um, in terms of single hazard score, a maximum of five. And one of them has got a double, which scored two fives, which is a maximum of 10. You need 44 out of 75 to pass that. You have to average at least a three on every clip. If your average is below three, you are going to fail it. Ideally, you want fours and fives. A nice eight or nine on your double will bring your average up. There's no trick questions. It's just worded badly. Um, so never feel, feel they're trying to trick you with the questions. The questions are just worded badly. And that's why I suggest you read the questions carefully, read the answers carefully. And if you're not sure, like I said, flag it, move on, and then go back when you know you've got a lot more time for a particular question. The theory test is always about safety, safety and safety. If it's got safe, safety, safely in the answer, sorry, in the, yeah, in the answer, you have to shortlist as a possible. It doesn't always work, but you have to shortlist as a possible. A lot of students ignore the word safety in the answer. And if it comes up in this, I'll, again, I'll show you what I'm talking about on that. And the other thing, if it's not a safety related answer, then it's going to be a controlled outcome, i.e. normally a motorway question or a first aid question. It's going to be a controlled outcome in the answer if it doesn't lead to safety. Do not make the test about you. It's a generic test, which has got to be the same for everyone across the country. So it's got to be a generic answer. Once you make the answer personal, oh, I wouldn't do this or I wouldn't do that. You're making it personal, you're now looking at answer that's personal to you, which the chances are it's going to be wrong. And the other important thing about don't, do not overthink it. The test is straightforward. If they're giving you A, B, C as um, answer question, then it's A, B, C you're dealing with. Do not start adding E, F, G into the question. Just keep it very simple, keep it very basic, so don't overthink it. So that's the overview of the test. Let me go back to Roots 1. The questions on the, this is what I'm saying about remembering the questions, i.e. memorizing the answers, all the questions. The questions, and again, some of you are still thinking this, the questions in the apps are sampled questions. They're not the real questions. I've been, I'm a driving instructor for 28 years. The ferry test has been there for about 22 years, give or take. I've not even seen the real questions. No one has seen the real questions other than the students that's gone in there and taken the test. The apps are sampled questions. The reason why they're sampled questions because the DVSA do not want you to memorize the question or memorize the answers. So if you're gonna memorize the answers or the questions, you're gonna struggle when it comes to the real, real test because when it's worded slightly different, it throws you. Now, if you understand the question and understand the answer based on what you're asking, the four-in-one app is gonna be just right for you. 
but if you're going to remember the answers you're going to struggle so hopefully that's answered your question i would like to do my theory test next month so what advice do you have for me if you want to do the theory test next month study that's the only advice i'll give you I'll study book if you want there's two ways of doing this as well just again for all of you if you've got a target in mind i.e next month go on to the website book a date for next month and work towards it realistically work towards it i.e you for the the way you're sounding like you haven't done any study and you just want to know how to go about it study fill it in as the day gets closer if you don't feel ready or you don't feel confident push it back as long as you do it within three working days so when they send you email or confirmation take note of the cancellation date and then you can push it back even further if you're not ready now if you don't want to do that obviously all you do is study when you feel ready then go and book a day so there's two ways of doing it book one work towards it or just work towards a, um, any particular date and then when you feel ready go down and book a test but um, that's the only advice I give you it's always going to be advice to study if you don't study you don't expect to get the decision that you're looking for um you're at least you're in discord so have you tried the link in discord and go from there I've not checked my dm in discord I will do that this evening once this call's finished and I'll go from there I'll take your details off there um just in case you haven't put your postcode dm, DM me again on discord and put your postcode because obviously they're going to ask me what area you live in and I need a postcode and then go from there but if you haven't already go in the resource, resource section the link for the instructors are in there so type your um, bits and pieces and then you may get a few more instructions that you can phone up if you've already done that still um, message me but make sure you've got a postcode Joe I'm taking my lessons but I'm struggling with road signs is that theory lessons or driving lessons type in the chat and let me know please Grace good evening I've done turning the road a few times, haven't done reverse or forward Bay Park. I've done turning the road, three point turn, haven't done reverse or forward Bay Park. Forward Bay Park is pretty much straightforward because you can see the lines when you're going in. Reversing is slightly different. Turning the road, if your instructor is getting you to do turning road, because that's not part of the driving test anymore, that's been taken out. If he's getting you to do, or she's getting you to do, turning the road um what they're trying to do is get you to i'm assuming you're struggling with steering or clutch control that's the only one that's one of the reasons why they would teach you turning the road i'm assuming you're doing manual as well sorry i got from this i'm just assuming right i'm assuming you're doing manual i'm assuming you're struggling with clutch control or steering because that's the only reason why we teach turning the road now because it gives you all the skills you need to practice to improve when you're steering at the same time you're doing clutch control at the same time you're doing observations so just type in the chat and let me know if that's the case thank you for your kind words Anna right what I'm going to do I'm going to there's so much chats coming through I'm going to start this because I can talk to you guys all day to be honest um, but I know you guys have got things to do in the evening. I want to do the mock test because that's why you guys have come, I'm assuming. And I'm still going to go through. I'm not going to ignore the chat. So while we're doing the mock test, I will still address some of the chats in here. Again, for those of you who got dry got um, a theory test coming up, if you've got direct questions, pull it in. I'll answer as we go along. And again, similar to Sharon, if you are doing driving lessons and are struggling with anything in particular, pull it in the chat. I'll help you with that. Right, I'm looking for screen share. Right, so for those of you that are new, the way this works is we read the question first and then we go for the answers. This is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. Um, what I would like you guys to do, because the last few weeks, the ins or the connections between you and me has been really slow. So when you type your answer, type the question number. So in this case, if it, the answer was, 
one D for example. So if the answer was D, type one D. So the question number first, and then the letter afterwards. That way I know that if there's a delay, I know exactly what question you guys are on. If that makes sense, I'm waffling there. I'm telling you if that makes sense. So question, what could cause you to crash if a level is allowed to get too low? That came up in Discord this, um, this week. Um, so A, brake fluid, B, radiator coolant level, C, antifreeze level, D, battery water level. So type the question number one and then the um, A, B, C, D after it. Name it, you failed your fairy test. What did you get? Right, Mark, getting lessons were hard. Some turned me down flat on my age. All schools wanted me to have taken my ferry first before I could book. I think they look for, are you looking for 100% pass rate? Mark, type in the chat how old you are. Just let me know how old you are. Right, um, A, A, right, most of you have gone for A, it's nice to see you, Precious, uh, most of you have gone for A, so brake fluid, right, this came up in Discord because um, the person didn't know what the answer was and I showed him because he'd done a screenshot and put it in Discord. Look for, I always say look for golden nuggets. So let me just break this down for you guys. What could cause to crash? The key word there is crash. So you've got to ask yourself in a car, what stops you from crashing, which is the brake. So that's the reason why it's brake fluid. Radiator coolant keeps it car cool. Antifreeze is for winter time and battery water level, again, keeps your battery charged. That's all that is. So the connection there is crashing, and what stops you from crashing is brake fluid. That's how you can work out the link between the two and work out your answers. So hopefully that helps you guys if you are struggling to break down certain questions and answers. Right, a driver's behavior has upset you. How can you get over the incident safely? Full of them flashing your headlights, shout abusive language, gesture to them with your hand, stop and take a break. A bus's hazard perception. I'm not understanding that question, if that's a question. A bus's hazard perception. Gotta make that a little bit clearer. Oh, you've got a second part to that. Still, as it was. I still don't understand you. What you're saying, I think, is that your pastor has a perception, which means you failed the multiple choice. But let me know um, what you got on the multiple choice. Earth, uh, I don't know, we were doing my fairy test early. My name is. What's early? as in the morning or any sometime soon. Not a problem. All right, let me see what you guys have got. I've got 2D. 2D. And name I just seen your I just seen your comment. I'm going to come back to that in a second. Right, most of you are going for 2D. Um, what's the question? A driver's behavior has upset you. How can you get... Right, this is what I'm talking about, stupid. If you didn't know, let's just say, for argument's sake, you did not know what the answer is. Work backwards, what it can't be. Full of them flashing your headlights. You can't flash your headlights on a driving test. The headlights for flashing or flashing headlights means you're warning of your presence. That can't be good. 
shouting abusive behavior, let's just returning aggressive behavior. Um, road rage, that can't be good, so you get rid of that. Gesture to, gesture to them with your hand, you know what that means, two finger gesture, that can't be good. So you really got rid of three, by default you're left with D, and that's how it works sometimes. Just get rid of the stupid ones, and like I said, sometimes you're left with a 50-50, or in this case, the only choice, in terms of safety anyway. What can you achieve if you drive smoothly? What can you achieve in, oh, this is good. Well, increased in journey times, increase in journey times by about 15%. Increase in fuel consumption by about 15%. Reduction in fuel consumption by about 15%. Reduction in journey times by about 15%. So it's all 15%, so what are you guys going for? Let me just go back to this chat. Not a problem, Jay. Yeah, just like I said, just look at um, in a resource, but still send me your postcode. Barry, literally just home from my theory. Thank you. To you. 49 out of 50, that's a high score. Why didn't you get 50 out of 50? That's what I got asked. But well done to you. And 66 out of 75. Congratulations. Let me know what your next step is. Is it going to be driving lessons or looking to book a driving test? Ed the lights, a welcome back and thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. Hopefully you're doing well. Jay, sending some love to you, Barry. Hello, Amanda. Precious, I have continued to fail my theory test and have lost all hope. Could you please give me some tips? Thanks. Um, Precious, let me come back to that. Let me just see what these guys are saying on the um, what number are we on three. Oh, lots of you here, right, okay, uh, start again. Guys, please put the number of the question because I don't know where you guys are. I'm gonna go for the ones with the, the number of the question. Joe's got 3D. Press of 3D, I've got 3C, so that's the difference of opinion. Naomi's gone for 3C, so I've got Ds and Cs. Porsche's gone for a C. Lou's gone for a C, Frank's gone for a C, and Rama's gone for a D, right, so I'm also three and C as well, right, so it's definitely C's and D's, Chester, how are you Chester, hopefully you're well, so the majority is C's, I've got a D here, with love, right, what can you achieve? I've got C's and D's, right? Let's get rid of A and B then. C's, reduction in fuel consumption by about 15%. C, reduction in journey times by 15%. Reduction in journey. You can't reduce your journey times by driving smoothly. It's impossible. If the journey is taking you 45 minutes, you driving smoothly is not going to take you any longer, so any quicker. It's refuel um, consumption is going to be reduced by 15%. The reason why, because when they say smoothly, they mean the right speed for the right gear. You're not racing the engine and you're not braking harshly or heavily. That's the reason why you're going to get a reduction in fuel by 15%. So it's actually C. So for those of you that went for C, well done. A casualty isn't breathing normally and needs CPR. At what rate should you press down and release on the center of their chest? 60 times per minute. 120 times per minute, 10 times per minute, and 240 times per minute. When you're answering, please put four A, B, C, D, so I know exactly what the answer is relating to. All right, let me go back to this. Precious, I've not forgotten you. I will come back to you. Oh, fairy test and driving lessons. Are you taking both? Okay, brilliant. Thank you, Edelach. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate that. Thank you for keep coming back to the lives. Grace, evening. I, good day. I've been a subscriber for some time. I have been viewing your videos. As a result, I've been successful on my test from St. Kitts. Yes, I remember you coming from St. Kitts quite a while ago. And I think you commented on um, 
the videos as well in the comment section on the YouTube videos. Congratulations on passing. Um, well done to you from so far away. What do you intend to do now? Are you going to come back to the UK and take driving lessons and pass the UK driving test? Sharon, yes, it's, it is, but I'm getting better, feeling more confident. It's a lady instructor, makes me feel at ease. That's brilliant. As long as the instructor, that's a good instructor. They're making you feel at ease. That's a good instructor. Um, yeah, I figured if she's doing, if she's making you do turn in the road, you've got issues with either, like I said, clutch control steering, um, with one of those two things. That's why we teach the turn in the road because it gives you all the skills you need. They should never take it out of the driving test. But like I said to you, you're on your way. So if you're driving along, you're on your way. All you've got to do is a reversing. But when you apply for your test, when you've got a test day, just try to be more consistent with your lessons rather than fortnightly. All right, let me go back to this. Right, I've got four. We're on four. Four D. Four B. Four B. Some of you guys is coming through now with free C with freeze. So your internet connection's got to be way behind. Um I've got 4B. Mark has got 4B. Ollie's got 4B. Right, most of you are going for B's. Let me see for different of opinions. Right, most of you have gone for 4Bs. What is 4B? 120. Yes, 120 Bs per minute, two every second, basically. Not many people know that, so well done to you guys for knowing that. What does this sign mean? Always look at the image. That's what I always say. When you get the question, read the question, look at the image, and then go to your answers. Leave motorway at the next exit. Lane for heavy and slow vehicles. Rest area for lorries. All lorries use the hard shoulder. Oh, I'm just trying to find these comments. Right, I'm also there with the comments. Right. Four B or D. Tag you when you um, <laughs> do this. You've got to be confident and choose one or the other. It's either going to be right or wrong. You learn from mistakes. Remember, on the real test, you can't choose two. Go for one. If it's wrong, learn from the mistakes. Not a bad thing. Right. What are we dealing with? Five. I've got five B. Five B. Most of you again from the looks of this, all going for Bs. Yeah, most of you are going for Bs. Don't see a difference of opinion here. Valerie, 5B, welcome. My answer is um, lane for heavy and slow moving vehicle. Just in case you didn't know, um, the other question that can ask you, um, what type of gradient would you find it on? It's a steep gradient. When lorries are going up a steep hill, obviously they're slower because they're heavier and carrying loads. So they move over to the crawler lane, crawl up the hill. I mean, you guys will still be here doing your 70 miles an hour. So it is B. Where would you, bring this down a little bit. Where would you park your vehicle? Try again, dyslexia. Where would parking your vehicle cause an instruction? In front of a property entrance, in a marked parking space, alongside a parking meter on your driveway. Right, Precious, let me deal with this. Hopefully you're listening while you're typing in your answer in the chat. I've continued to fail my theory test and have lost all hope. Could you please give me some tips? Yes, I'm going to give you a tip. First and foremost, join Discord. If you are continuously failing your theory test, jump in Discord. Let me help you personally, if that makes sense. And plus, you're going to have others in there. That's the first and that's the biggest advice and tip I can give you. If you did decide not to join Discord, then I would suggest 
looking at the paperwork, go back to basics, look at the paperwork they gave you. If you said continued, so I'm assuming you failed more than one. So if that's the case as well, if you failed more than one, hopefully you still got the paperwork, look at, put them all out side by side, look at them and see if there's a common theme with the categories you're failing in. The chances are there's gonna be a common theme. Just say, for example, you may have motorway signs on two or three of them. That means your motorway knowledge is weak. Start with that. If it's different on every sheet, it means you've got a lack of knowledge across the board. So you're gonna to have to go back to basics, do the categories on in each turn, understand them fully. Uh, study with me series on the channel. But if you join Discord, you've got the resource link in there that takes you directly there and then go from there and then build it up again to mock tests and pass the mock tests on a regular basis. But the biggest advice I would give you is to jump into Discord, get me to help you as well as the community in there and we get you that pass the next time around. You shouldn't be failing on a regular basis, not on your own anyway. So hopefully that helps. Right, what number are we on six? Let's get to the top of this. Where are we, where are we? Some of you are coming through at fours and we're on six. Frank, 6D. Evelyn, 6A, that's a difference of opinion. 6A, Netta, 6A. Valerie, 6A. Joshua. All right, let's take a look at those difference of opinion. Most of you have gone for A's. You change your answer, Frank. Right, most of you are gone for, Frank's changed his answer by the way, but most of you are gone for 6A and the answer is, yeah, in front of a property, if you're blocking someone's driveway, that's an instruction, you should not be doing that. And again, on your driving test, definitely do not park in front of a driveway unless the examiner gives you permission to do that. You're traveling on a motor on the motorway. How can you lower the risk of collision when the vehicle behind you is falling? Oh, this is a nice one. Let me just read that again. You're traveling on the motorway. How can you lower the risk of a collision when the vehicle behind is following too closely? Move onto the hard shoulder and stop. Increase your distance from the vehicle in front. Brake sharply. Switch on your hazard warning lights. Porsche, yes, you can take driving lessons at any time. I would suggest doing driving lessons and theory tests at the same time because the theory helps the driving and the driving helps the theory because you're actually applying what you're learning on the driving lesson. But yeah, there's lots of people who do driving lessons before um, the theory side of it. Nothing wrong with it. My personal opinion, I, 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 I would, like I said, I would do both at the same time, but I would still do driving lessons um, before ferry as well, if that was me. But a lot of people are doing the ferry first and then doing the driving. But there's no right or wrong way. Just, I would add to that, there's no right or wrong way. Imran. Are you the Imran from Discord? Just type yes or no, because I know we've got an Imran in Discord who was very active over the weekend, which was good to see. Um, 7C, I've got 7B. I'm assuming that's a B for seven. Um, again, I've got a B. B. Right, most of you are going for Bs. Laura, you're one behind. You have come out. You're, you've got 6A. I'll tell you what you've got. You've got 6A. It's in between the sevens. I'll tag Sonny's internet slow. So it's got to be an internet connection. Right, sorry. I'm getting caught up in your um, messages. Um, 7B is what I've got. And 7C. So right, let's take B. First of all, let's take C, sorry. Break sharply. Once you, let's read the question again. I'm gonna tell you why it's 7C is totally wrong. You're traveling on the motorway. How can you lower the risk of collision when the vehicle behind you is falling too closely? If you're braking sharply and the vehicle's close behind, it's gonna go into the back of you. If you have braked sharply 
or break harshly in your answer is wrong. You're never going to break sharply. You're never going to break harshly. So you can eliminate that straight away if that's an option on your theory test. The answer is going to be B, increase the distance from the vehicle in front. Now, a lot of people say that if you increase the distance from the vehicle in front, the vehicle is going to go in the back of you. It won't go into the back of you. Let me quickly explain why. You should just let me take the theory test as well. Drive, it says on the motorway, on the motorway you should be leaving a two, if you drive, leave a two second gap. So you should have a two second gap between you and the car in front. The car behind should have a two second gap as well. So you've got a four second bubble. Now if the car decides to drive too close, there's nothing you can do about that. So let's just say he's driving close. He's now one second behind instead of two seconds. What you're going to do is ease off the gas. So your car starts to slow down. He will see that you're slowing down, so he will back off and still keep the second gap. He won't go into the back of you. So the car in front is obviously using the gas. It's gonna pull away from you. You're gonna have three seconds in front, one second behind. You're still gonna have a four second bubble overall. That one second between you and the car in front is massive when you're driving at 70, 70 miles an hour. So that's what you do. On your driving lessons, it's not from my way, this is just driving lessons. For those of you taking driving lessons, I know you guys are scared about people behind. Sod them when you're taking driving lessons, by the way. But if someone's driving really close behind you, that's what you do. Come off the gas and let the car in front pull away so you've got a longer distance to brake in if something goes wrong with the car in front. That's why the answer is what it is. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys as well. What does it mean if electronic stability control, i.e., ESC indicator lamps lights up while you're driving. So they're talking about this. ESC system is running a routine test. The ESC system has a fault. ES system is switched off. ESC system has activated. So which one would you guys go for? Let me just see if there's anything in here. I'll do that now, thank you very much. The, if you're talking about joining Discord, Precious, the link is in the description. When YouTube processes this, it will be in a pinned comment. But if you grab a video from last week, it's in there as well. But yeah, definitely join. Let me know that you've joined. Go into the general chat, say hi. And if you've got the paperwork as well, there's a failed section, load the paperwork. I don't need your personal details. I just need the pass mark and the categories you got wrong. And then I can see it personally for myself, how many questions, what categories, and then I can even help you even better with that information to hand. So we'll get you that pass next time round. Just don't give up. Olu, I've seen your comment. I will address that in a minute. Oh, so is you, Imran, it's nice. It's nice that you're on the live. Hope you, hopefully you are doing all right. I did respond to you as well. So again, once this is finished, go in Discord, look on your, the past, the certificate that you, not certificate, the paperwork you loaded up. I did comment on that. And again, we're gonna get you that pass as well. So just keep going back in there and playing your part. But it's nice to see you here. Right, what are we on? Eight, 8D, Joe's got 8D. Laura's got, Laura's on seven. You're, Laura, you're way behind. Mark, 8B. Caroline, 8B, right. Oh, I've got an 8D, difference of opinion. Nita, 8D. With love's gone 8D. All right, let's get some rid of this. All right, let's take a look at what we've got. Right, was it Ds and Bs? Let's take a look at B. What does it mean if the electron stability control indicator lamps right start? B is has a fault. Normally, if it's got a fault, it's red. So it won't be that. It's D. If it comes on amber, it means it's activated or working. If it's red, it's normally a fault. So it's gonna be D for that one. When may you stop on the clear way? Um, a clear way, if you didn't know, it's just a road they want to keep clear. Nothing special. It's just a road they definitely want to keep clear. So answers never. 
during daylight hours when it's busy in rush hour. Somebody, <laughs> I like that. Welcome, I've not seen you before, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Imran, your one just came through, 8D, it's just come through. Some of you got really slow, con slow connections. Let me just address, while you guys are coming through with that, let me just address Olu. My last fear was 40 and 66, right? So I'm assuming 66, not assuming that's correct. 66 is has a perception, so you've nailed that. You can put that to one side. Again, you've got 40 out of 50, that's 10 questions wrong. It means you've got a over five categories wrong. Again, what you need to do with that is look at the categories and restudy those categories and build your knowledge up in those categories before booking another test. Again, I stress, join if you want to pass the next time out of the best possible chance to pass the next time out, join Discord, upload the paperwork, and then I can see exactly what questions you got wrong, exactly what category, and then I can help you even more directly other than me just assuming that you've got more than five categories, I don't know what categories you've got. But your baseline is to go back and study, the study with me, and study with me, sorry, go back and study the categories um, that you got the questions wrong in. Especially if you've got two or more questions wrong in a particular category, go back and study those. Hopefully that helps you. All right, what are we on nine? Right, somebody has got 9A, Naomi 9A. No, Naomi, you've done it twice. You only get one go. Um, Earth has only got 9A. Imran's got 9A. Most of you have gone for 9A, 9As. No difference of opinion on this. Right, no difference of opinion. Yes, never. Um, sometimes they say you can, but with restrictions on this one, it's never. Why is it dangerous to leave your rear fog light switched on after the fog has cleared? They may be, they may be confused with brake lights. The bulbs would fail. Electrical system could be overloaded. Direction indicators may not work properly. My mind is not on here, it's been working entirely. I study better late evenings and mornings, so we'll come back late or when the internet is better. Tag, um, yeah, if you don't, that, again, this is a good point Tag makes. If you're tired, do not study when you're tired because your brain's not taking the information in. So never study when you're tired. Sometimes you feel like you have to do it and you have to complete it. You're not gonna pick up any new information. The brain's too tired to other work. It's not gonna do it for you. So always study when, you got, when you're fresh and you can take in information. There's nothing wrong with putting it off for a while. So tag, take care of yourself, get some rest. Appreciate you coming on the live though, when you just finished work. I really appreciate that. So what are we on? 10, 10A. 10 Amanda, 10A. Caroline, 10A. Well, most, again, most of you have gone for 10A. I don't see a difference of opinion on that. <laughs> Naomi, don't worry. You typed the answer, the correct answer twice, but it's not a problem. Right, what have we got? Why is it then just to leave rear fog light switched on after the fog? Yeah, because it may be confused with brake lights. If you guys don't realize, Fog lights are red at the back, I'm talking about, are red and they're really intense so you can see them through the fog. And obviously brake lights are red. That's why when the fog is lifted, turn them off so they're not to be confused. How can you help to prevent your car radio being stolen? Park in an unlit area, install a security coded radio, leave a radio turned on, park near a busy junction. Uh, 
Um, let's just this out a little bit. Thank, thanks you, thank you a lot. I was watching your video every day of my practice time. I have passed today forty-eight multiple choice. So what was it? Has perception and sixty-five and has perception again. Congratulations to you. Thank you for coming back. Letting us know, and let me know in the chat what your next step is. Is it going to be driving lessons? Or is it going to be looking to book a driving test? Right, Evelyn. I've got B. Olu B, Naomi B, Cressa's B. Somebody, again, all of you lot going for Bs. No difference of opinion. Mark is showing you some love in terms of congratulations. Right, it's B again, Golden Nugget Radio in the question, and you've got security radio, coded radio in the answer. And again, for those of you who've got a driving test coming up, let's get rid of that, let's do it properly. Park in an unlit area. That's what a thief wants, unlit, so you won't be disturbed. Leave the radio turned on. That will kill your battery. And park near a busy junction is not the best place to be parking your car near a busy junction. So again, those three makes no sense. So by default, you're left with one correct or sensible answer. Your car, bre <laughs> your car breaks down on a level crossing. What's the first thing you should do? Walk down the track and signal to, <laughs> signal the next train. Leave your vehicle and get everyone clear. Stay in your car until you're told to move. Tell the drivers behind what's happened. Hopefully I'm going to get quotes on booking. I'm assuming that's the instructor. <clears throat> okay. Good luck with that. Um, good luck with the driving lessons. So keep us informed how you get on. Emmanuel, I've seen your first message and I just glanced your second. I'm going to get your second one up. And you definitely deserve a massive, massive congratulations. 50 out of 50, well done to you. And Hazard 59, well done, Emmanuel. That study must have went really, really well. Um, again, let me in the chat, let me know what your next step is, whether it's going to be driving lessons or driving test. Ah, oh, Taurus, don't worry about it. All right, let's see what you guys have got. Laura, you're, I've just got 12, we're on 12, and your one has, your answer for 10A has just come, well, 10, has just come through, literally in between the 12s. Let's right. Joshua, 12, Evelyn. 12B, I'm saying 12, 12B, 12B, Imran, 12B, Amanda, right, most of you have gone for 12B. I don't see any difference of opinion on this. Leave your vehicle and get everyone clear. Yeah, again, it's a similar thing, stupid answers, walk down the track and signal to the next train. You're not going to be stopping the train doing that. Stay in your car until you're told to move again. The train could be coming and you're still in the car on the track. Tell drivers behind what's happening. It's not their business what happens. So your job is to make sure you're safe, all your passengers. So get everybody out to safety. So again, three silly answers. By default, you're left with one sensible one. Signs. Which sign shows that you're entering a one-way system? So again, A, always look at the images. A. B, C, D. What are you guys going for? D. 
Do you have any ideas about how to get any? I'm assuming that's instructor and books for my driving test. Books for your driving test, I would go for, um, I think it's called Driving Essentials. If you want books for your driving lesson, sorry, um, Driving Essential Skills is a really thick book. Um, it's called Driving Essential Skills. I would go for that book and that book only. Um, if you've done apps on the theory test, you would, you would already got the highway code on there, but that's for every road user. In terms of getting instructor, um, Google your area. So instructors near me. Um, I've mentioned before, go to the driving test center, your local test center, talk to the instructors at source, because if they have test passes there, they will have vacancies. So you can jump the queue there if you're going to speak to them. And the other possible way is join Discord. And in the, our resource section, there's a link to type your postcode in and it brings up instructors in your area that you can phone and have a discussion with. There's three options for you. Mark is showing you some love, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, no problems. That's well done for passing again, 50 out of 50. Passing is a good thing, but again, 50 out of 50 is really great. Um, what number are we in? 13. Right. I've got B, B, and again, most of you are going for B. Most of you should be going for B. Caroline, she's apologising. I've not seen your first one, then, if you're apologising. Um, let me find it. <laughs> oh, you just typed in twice. That's all you've done. Same answer. It's the correct answer. You just typed it in twice. Not a problem. Porsche has gone for B. Net has gone for B. And Chris has gone for, but yeah, it'll be one way. If you look at the signs, that's a no U-turn, just in case you didn't know. That's one way, one arrow, one way. You've got two arrows. It can't be one way if it's two arrows. And this is the opposite to that. Just in case you didn't know, this one is you, you with signs and images, just in case you haven't know, you don't know or you haven't seen the videos, you're always going from bottom to top. So when you look at signs and images, you always got to imagine that you're going um, up with images. So you're going up with a small arrow. Because the black arrow is bigger, you've got to give way to oncoming traffic. With this one, you're going up with the big arrow, the white arrow. You have priority over oncoming traffic, so they should be giving way to you. But the answer is going to be B, one arrow, one way. After collision, someone is unconscious in their vehicle. When should you call emergency services? After checking for broken bones, only as a last resort as soon as possible after you've welcomed them up. Not a problem, that's what this is all about, helping you guys the best I can. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Sorry, Caroline, it's my fault. Misread it. But thanks for owning up. Right, what are we in 14? Right, some of these are coming through. Cobwa, 14C. Mark, 14C. 14C. Ah, oh, Torres, 14C. Again, most of you are going for the correct answer. Amanda. Um, Joshua, 14 says. Right, um, we'll see as soon as possible. Yeah, um, if you turn up at a scene of an accident and there's not an ambulance visible, pick up the phone. That's the biggest mistake people do is think someone else has done it. Just pick up the ambulance, pick up the phone to find the ambulance. They don't mind how much time you place that phone call. Which vehicle, this came up in Discord as well at the weekend. Which vehicle will use a blue, which vehicle will use a blue flashing beacon? Snowplow, motorway maintenance, breakdown recovery, bomb disposal.
so 15. Hello, Patricia. How are you? It's good to see you. Late, but good to see you. Thank you for turning up. Appreciate that. Right, some of you are coming through already. 15D. Joe, you got 15D. Maria, got D. Frank, got D. Porsche, 15D. Most of you are going for Ds. Imran, D. All right, most of you are going for Ds. What's D? Bomb disposal. Um. Yeah, bomb disposal. And um, blue lights are what they call human life. Anyone that saves a human life. And apart from the obvious ones, your fire engines, police cars and ambulances, bomb disposal and lifeguards are the two they use most in the theory test outside of the obvious ones just in case you didn't know snow plow would be slow moving as amber motorway maintenance is slow moving as amber and breakdown recovery slow moving as amber you service your own vehicle how should you dispose of old engine oil take it to the local authority site tip it in a hole in the ground Pour it down the drain and put it in your dustbin. <laughs> I got the timers wrong. Every Monday, 4.30 p.m. You should put it in your diary. Every Monday, 4.30 p.m. I Cobwa, have a test on Friday this week. Good luck with it. If you've got any questions, type in the chat before we finish. Um, again, I keep saying it, join Discord, get more help so you can guarantee that, well, as best you can guarantee a pass um, by getting help from the community. Any doubts, any questions you've got, type it in the chat or join, community, um, join Discord and pull it in there. There's a lot of them in there helping each other. What are we on 16? Right, with love, 16. Precious, you're doing YouTube and you're doing um, Discord. You just joined Discord. I'll say how to see you later when I get in there. But thank you for joining. Um, right, sorry, got distracted. Right, Roland, 16. I'm assuming a manual, this is for 16, A. Hey. Patricia, A, with love, A, most of you going for A, Roma, Arama, Chester, A, again, right, most of you are going, <laughs> Portia, uh, multitasking, Joe, 16A, right, most of you going for A's, um, yeah, take it to local for it to let them dispose of it, it's engine oil. Um, <clears throat> so dispose of it properly and safely. You're approaching a roundabout. What should you do if a cyclist ahead is signaling to turn right? So keyword there should. Give the cyclist plenty of room. Give a warning with your horn. Signal the cyclist to move across. Overtake on the right. Never give up. Thanks to you, I'll pass my first test. 46 out of 50, well done. And 60 out of 75, plus I've booked my practical with January. I try to get it pushed, you mean bring forwards. Um, congratulations on passing. And again, another one's got, are you ready for a driving test, never give up? Or are you just gonna try and bring it forwards and then get ready for it? But congratulations on passing and well done for booking a driving test. But are you ready to take a driving test? Another one there, Grace 
Gracie, higher past my theory test, 46 out of 50, 48 out of 75 because of the wonderful tips you gave, thank you. And again, um, thank you for coming back and letting us know. I really, really appreciate that. So congratulations on passing. Um, again, let me know in the chat whether you're gonna be taking driving, look to take driving lessons or book a driving test. It's just great when you guys pass, brilliant. All right, let's see what you guys are going for. You've done a couple of lessons. Right. Only you know what you've done in those lessons, but the question you've got to ask yourself, if, you, if you've only done a few lessons, literally done a few lessons, maybe Jenna is the best place for you to take your test. Will you be ready in time if you bring it forwards? So that's something you need to think about. Or um, have a driving lesson with an instructor, let him give you an assessment and he can, uh, or he or she can advise you better. But I wouldn't bring it forwards if you just had a few lessons. It seems like a long way away, but trust me, generally will come really quick when you're taking driving lessons. It doesn't drag. Well, right number one, 17. Uh, for 17A Ambrose. Again, I've not seen that name before, so welcome to you, Ambrose, sneaking through the back door. I've got, that's way behind. Terry, you're way behind. Your, your, your 12B's just come through. Um, again, Laura, I've just got your 15D to come through. 17, I'm a 17. Right, mostly if you've gone for A's. Patricia's gone for A. Emmanuel. And Mark's gone for A. Yeah, mostly if you've gone for A's. Um, give cyclists plenty of room. You're not in a rush on your driving test or driving lesson. So give the cyclists plenty of room. Take your time, only pass them when it's safe to do so. Who is authorized to signal, signal, try that again. Who is authorized to signal you to stop? A police officer, a pedestrian, a motorcyclist, a bus driver. I've not seen your name before. So if you're new, welcome. Christopher, passed my theory test, 40 out of 50, high score, well done, 62 out of 75, again, high score. Test book for October, hopefully get, where are you? Hopefully get the first, that first time also. Congratulations on passing. And you've got your test in October, that's only literally around the corner, about six, seven, depending on what part of October you got it, six, seven weeks away. Let me know what part of country you're taking that. Which test center will you be taking your test at, Christopher? Rose, Patricia's giving you some love. Thanks for everything you're doing to help us. Not a problem, not a problem. As long as you keep coming back and watching the lives and passing your theory test, I'll keep doing it. Um, it's just good to see that you guys are actually um, getting some value from all of this. Mark, he's showing you some love, Christopher. I love when you guys congratulate each other as well. Tracy, uh, hello, thanks for your help. Not a problem. I have a test on Wednesday. I'm assuming that's a theory test. If that's the case, with what well, regards to theory test or driving test, good luck with it on Wednesday. If you've got any questions or concerns, type it in the chat while we are live now. I can answer it to you. And again, I suggest get yourself over to Discord and get as much help as you possibly can before Wednesday. All right, let's see what you, oh. All right, let's see what you guys have got. What are we number on? 18. A hey, Mark, I've seen your comment. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, 18A, A, Patricia's got A, 
Merlin's got A, Imran, you've got A. Okay, Marcy, have you gone for A's? And the answer, yeah, it's law. Again, that's a straightforward one. It's law, police officers, that's the only person that's, don't get me wrong, a pedestrian could try and stop you, but the key word there is authorised, and that's a police officer all day long. You're driving along a wet road, it's wet. How can you tell if your vehicle tires are losing their grip on the surface? The steering will feel very light. The engine noise will increase. The engine will stall. The steering will feel very heavy. Well, I am... Um I've not seen your name before, maybe I just haven't recognised it, but if you have been attended all the time, have you been commenting um, in the chat? I've not seen it before. I apologise if I've not, um, for not recognising your name. Your test is in Preston. Not area that I know, but um, I wish you luck with it there. Where should you avoid to park a car across someone's driveway is would be the answer for that one. Don't block someone's driveway. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate that. Again, it's not an area that I'm familiar with, Scotland. Um, I've had a few people from Scotland take refresher lessons because there wasn't too much traffic. I don't know about Hamilton though, to be fair, but the way they took their test was like a little village of some kind. But when they came to London, the driving in London was totally different. So they booked refreshing lessons. It's a few years back. Um, so I don't know how busy it is in Hamilton, but yes, I wish you a lot of luck with that. And keep us informed how you get on. Well, what are we on 19? So, I'm assuming this is 419, we've got A, A. There's quite a few of you joining Discord right now, multitasking. Um, Mark, A, Amanda, A, Frank, A. Right, most of you have gone, oh, I've got a, that's 14, 14C, you're way behind Terry. Joe, 19A, and the answer is, Hey, yeah, you're driving along a wet road. How can you tell if your vehicle steering are losing their grip? If it's losing grip, it's going to feel light. Um, it won't feel heavy, it's going to feel light. So it's all to do with light steering. Why should you slow down as you approach the hazard? Again, look at the image first. Let me just show you. Oops. Look at the image, what it's telling you because of a level crossing, because of animals crossing, because of approaching traffic, because it's hard to see to the right. Only problem is in school rush hour. I'll come back to that in a minute. Let me just find your original comment. Sorry, patience is giving you some love, Christopher. Oh, I didn't see this bit. Sorry, patience. Congratulations, Christopher. I'm writing my theory tomorrow, guys. A bit nervous. Nerves is a good thing. Don't let the nerves control you, patience. Uh, let me just get back your comment. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, yeah, don't let the nerves control you. Like I said, nerves is a good thing. Good luck with it tomorrow. Read the questions carefully, read the answers very, very carefully. As I always say, if you don't know it, flag it, move on. When you've done, go back, spend all the time you've got left on the flagged ones. And don't forget to breathe. Deep breaths I'm talking about. Yeah, good luck with your test tracing. Good luck um, with your patience. Patience, let us know how you, um, Get on. C 
Sorry, Crystal, I can't find your other comment when you said your test was, was it September, October, wasn't it? I think you said your test was in October. Um, it depends whether it's school time, because if you work it out, schools go back at the beginning, and then again, I don't know about the schools in Scotland. Schools go back in September. I believe they're going to have another holiday in October, every six weeks, give or take. So it could be school time, school holiday, but if it is um, rush hour, all you're going to do is drive a little bit slower. To be fair, it's, it's a little bit easier. It's only, the only problem is you don't know how school children are going to react. If it's um, older kids, you just don't know how they're going to behave. So just take no chances, slow down. And I'll be honest with you, if they're looking to cross the road and stuff like that, I would just let them go. Just take control of the situation. Check your mirrors first, obviously. Let them go. You're not in a rush on the driving test. So that's my advice with the rush hour. Just drive a little bit slower. And don't take any chances with the school kids. You just don't know. And with parents driving as well. Because they was rushing to get home. But I wish you luck with that. Again, keep us informed. Um, thank you, patients. I appreciate that. Hopefully it's very helpful and you pass tomorrow. Not tomorrow, Wednesday. All right, let's see what you guys got. What number are we on? 20. Patients got 20A. A. So there's some a few comments in between us, so I'm sh um, struggling to get to your answers. 20A, 20A. Right, so it's all A's. And yeah, it's level crossing, sun's level crossing. Um, again, doesn't make sense because of animals, because there's no animals present in the picture. Because of approaching traffic, there's no traffic in the picture. And because it's hard to see to the right, the bend goes to the left. So that makes no sense. So again, by default, you're left with one sensible answer. But the sign gives that away. That's why I said always read the question first, then look at the image, because sometimes you get your clues from there, and then go from there. And there you have it. Um, so I just want to go through some of the comments. Have you guys got any questions you want to ask, especially you guys um, who's got tests coming up very soon? Chris has... Congratulating everyone, love that. Oh, Imran, you got your test tomorrow. Uh, when you've done, let us know how you get on. Fingers crossed for you this time. And again, if you've got any last minute questions, jump in Discord, you know that we're here, we're there to help you. So good luck with that Imran tomorrow. Um, I think he's already booked his test, Chester. Hamilton, I believe. I don't know how far Hamilton's away from where you're suggesting. Yes, they'd be easy to spot. If it's rush hour, it'd be easy to spot because you're going to be in slow moving traffic. So I wouldn't really worry about that because you're driving slower if it's rush, um, rush hour, if it's school time. So I wouldn't worry about that too much unless you're missing signs on a regular basis in normal driving. And that's a different story. You need to brush up on sporting signs. No problem. I'm glad you're feeling more confident. I think that's a response to Chester's um, recommendation change to his centre. I'm assuming he's responding to that. Evelyn, so what's the image on question 20? The image was a level crossing sign. So if it's level crossing, you want to slow down because the barriers are down or a train is coming, you should be slowing down, plus it's around the bend. That's the reason why. Again, Imran, like I said, if you've got any questions, jump in Discord before tomorrow and we'll take care of you. I get asked this question a lot. I've never seen this question. What's the speed limit after the end of a dual carriageway? 
the, I, I, for, me, for me to answer, I need to see what the, how it was asked in what context, because it was it an image question or was it just a worthy question? Because I get asked that question a lot and I've never seen that as a question. I've seen it as an image, which is 30 miles now, but it's got the sign telling you it's 30 miles now. So I would need to see the context of the question and for me to give you a proper answer on that. But the general answer would be 30 miles now because you're going back to a built up area. But like I said, it depends how the question is related. My test is on Saturday 26, that's this Saturday. Um, wish you luck with that. Again, if you've got any questions before we sign off, put it in the chat, let me know. And I can ask that for you. No problem. Um, hopefully I'll see you again soon. I'm glad it's helping you. Leon. I bought my ferry for the 11th of September. That's about 28. That's about three weeks away. So you've got a little bit of time to get some studying done. Again, if you've got any issues, jump into Discord, let us know. We'll come back on another live next Monday. I'm here. Even though it's bank holiday. It is bank holiday, right? Yeah, I'm still be here on a bank holiday. So if you guys want to still hang out with me on a bank holiday, um, you're quite welcome. But if you don't, I'll understand if you guys prefer to do something different on your bank holidays. Um, I'm rebooking. Sorry, let me just put this up there. I'm rebooking for October and hope to get through my lessons for a January test. Um, again, Mark, if you do the studying, you should, you should get through. But again, jump into Discord if you want extra help. And let us help you get that past the next time out. I failed two times for one question. I'm assuming you mean you needed one more to pass. You got 42 out of 50. Um, but you got eight questions wrong. Um, so there's still a weakness in your knowledge. So you need to brush up on the weakness. Probably that's the reason why did you brush up on your knowledge on the first time out? Because you got the same result twice. Um, it's quite easy to say um, I've missed it by one. The problem is you didn't miss it by one. You need one more to pass, but you've got eight questions wrong. If you've got eight questions wrong, there's an issue. And that's the weakness. The link is in Discord, um, in the resource section. If you're not part of Discord, jump on the channel and look for it. It's about six weeks old, six, seven weeks old, the video. And you can find the, the video on the channel itself. But if you jump in Discord, the link's in Discord. Resource. I am planning to do driving, but I started doing my ferry training with, with you. Be blessed for this you are doing. Thank you. Appreciate the words. I really appreciate that. Um, hopefully the studying's going fine. Can we please do some videos on hazard perception? Thank you. Patricia, because you asked nicely, I can do that. How many of you want to see hazard perception in action? Just type yes in the chat because I, we've been going for an hour, 38 minutes, and I don't want to take up your time with that. But if you guys are willing to stick around to see hazard perception being done, I'll hook up my iPad and do it for you. Just type yes in the chat if you want to see how to proceed. I know you, um, Patricia, want to see one, so you don't have to type yes. But anyone else who's willing to stick around, because like I said, the live has been going for an hour and a half. Love your video. Book my test. First week of September. Again, that's only around the corner, so hopefully you are ready for that. Christopher, I've done 18 lessons, have two more left. The instructor says to book another 10. And that's me having, me have been doing two hours to get more prepared over the weekends. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It sounds weird because it's, it's going to cost you more money. The more lessons you can do between now and the test, the better prepared you're going to be. Ideally... You spend the money now, pass first time, you're done. Rather than take the test two times and obviously it's going to cost you more in the long run, plus the waiting time for another test. 
So yeah, get the lessons in. If you can get private practice in as well, that's even better. Image question, that's the dual carriageway one. If that's the case, the answer should be in the image. Without me seeing the image, I can't answer that, but the answer will be in the image. You just got to look for it carefully. Or <laughs> join Discord, upload the image, and I can help you out. See, someone, uh, Roland's asking the same thing. What will be the maximum speed limit after the end of a dual carriageway? Without seeing the question or the image, I can't give you the answer. Because that question is related to probably an image. The answer's in the image. I'm applying for my professional license next week when I get paid. Yes, don't wait. Get it done. Even if you don't use it, one, it's ID. And two, you just put it down there. So when you're ready to go, you can go. You don't have to wait for the postman to deliver. No problem, Joe. Um, all right, let me go to the end of this. I said to you guys, do you want to see how's the perception? Um, let me just see. Try to join Discord. I don't know if I'm in. It, if you're in, sorry, let me have to put the meshes up. If you're in, it's going to welcome you so you'll know whether you're in or not. You click the invite, it takes you straight in to Discord. So if you haven't gone straight in, there's an issue. Yes. Is 10 lessons enough for question mark? What are we talking about? Right, some of you saying yes, you want to see has a perception. I'll do I'll do that in a second. Let me just quickly go through some of this. I do and I passed my theory test. I scored 45 out of 50, 57 out of 75 has a perception. Thanks a lot. No problem, Hamid. Um, congratulations to you. Again, let me know in the chat if you are going to take driving lessons or um, book a driving test. All right, let me come back to you guys' chat. You guys want... Um, So let me just see what Christopher's saying. That's what my dad said after that. He says he won't take me out because no dual controls and doesn't want to give me any bad habits. Um, when you go out with someone, you're not doing what they tell you to do. You shouldn't be telling, doing what they tell you to do. You should be practicing what your instructor taught you so you should not fall into bad habits. So dad shouldn't be teaching you to drive. He should just be allowing you to drive, if that makes sense. But I get what he's saying about the dual controls, 100%. All right, let me just set my iPad up. Hopefully, this will work. Wow, so many of you joined Discord. There's so much messages on there. Right, um, iPad, iPad, iPad. So Tracy, do you recommend 41 app over Drive and Test UK? I have not used Drive and Test UK, so I can't comment, but I will say I am not saying Drive in the 4 in 1 app. <coughs> Sorry. I'm not saying the 4 in 1 app is the best app out there. What I'm saying is that's the app that I use and I get the best results from it from the from my classroom students. So I to be honest, if you're paying for an app, four ninety nine. Although you are in Discord, the message just came up. You're in. Um, sorry. Any apps that you pay for, four ninety nine or above, is going to be a decent app because they're pretty much the same as each other. But I've not used Drive and Test UK, so I'm not going to say it's bad. I'm not saying it's going to say it's good. All I'm saying is I use Drive and Test Success. So if you want to follow along, what I do. That's the app I would use, but I'm not saying others are bad in saying that. Right, I'm going to quickly do a hazard perception. Right, let me just quickly explain about hazard perception. It's a video. What you're looking for is um, anything that's going to cause you to slow down. Let me just go back to this. You're looking for anything that's going to cause you to slow down or change direction. 
because the click on the um, on the video is you checking the mirrors if you was doing driving lessons. So if you're slowing down in a straight line, it's just the main mirror. If you are going to go past parked cars, for example, it's going to be the main mirror, right door mirror. But in the video, you click once. Problem, click. I teach you a two click method. So you see the problem, you click, and then you go one, two, and then you click again. Now, if the first click lands in the five or the four, and the second one lands in the three or two, you're always gonna get the highest mark. If your first click was too early, then your second click should land in the five or the four. As weird as it sounds, you're not looking for the hazard. And everyone says, what you're talking about, it's about hazard perception. You're looking to get a score between three and five. You can see the hazard all day long. If you see it and you score zero, it means nothing. So you're really trying to get a score rather than seeing the hazard. And by clicking twice, you should deliver a score. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. So let me just do this one. Let me get the screen share to the iPad. All right. So I'm going to talk what I'm seeing. And then when we review it, when we review it back, you'll understand and it makes more sense. So straight line driving, there's nothing going on. So there's nothing that I need to click for at this point in time. So again, still nothing going on. If you take a look to the left, you've got road signs. The road signs are telling you the road narrows. Click. One, two, and click again. I missed my first click and my pencil didn't work. That's the one that's causing me to slow down and actually stop. That's the one I'm going to get marked on. So for the bend, I can't see around the bend just in case something's around. I'm going to click. There's my first click. One, two, and there's my second click. Because you don't know if it's a double video. Bridge, narrow, one, two, and there's my second click. There you go. So let me review that back. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna change my camera on this so you can see the flag. So hold on one second. Hold on one second. Right, so you'll be able to see the flags on that. Let me just lock this back. Right, so as I said, straight line driving, nothing's going on at this point in time, so I don't need to click for anything. So when you're doing videos or driving tests or driving lessons, you should be scanning from grass. In this case, it'd be grass verge, grass verge. So from left to right, right to left. That's where road signs are. And that's how you should be driving, scanning from left to right, right to left. So there's my first click landed in the five because the bridge makes the road narrow. The sign, let me just rewind that back so you can see it. The sign told me the road is going to be narrowing. That's why you would click. And then I've gone one, two, and clicked again. And that's my second click. I think that's landed in the three, but they're gonna give you the highest score. There is no benefit in clicking once, but there's lots of benefits in clicking twice. And that's how it works. There's sometimes there's clues to let you know there's a problem coming up. See the clue, click, not a problem. Hopefully that helped you out. I'll do another one in a second. Let me just catch up with the comments. Let me know in the chat if that was helpful. Just type yes or no. Um, any tips for nerves as well? Thanks, because I get quite nervous sometimes in case I feel for my nerves. There's not much things you can do with nerves. You've got to just try to be calm as best you can. Get your instructor to give you a mock test if they haven't done it already. That's gonna make you nervous. And then you just try to way to control it. But it's more being confident in your own ability. Because if you're confident, you know what you're doing, then you're not gonna be as nervous. 
And that's why it's important to get as much lessons as you possibly can so it's more natural. So hopefully that helps, but there's not much you can do about controlling the nerves. If you're a nervous person, you've got to find a way to handle it. Not a problem, Oluwa. I'll see you in, in Discord. Deadpool's B, can I revise very less than a week? How long's a piece of string? Um, that depends how much time you put in and effort you put in. Um, but the question I would ask myself, why would you do it in a week? Why not give yourself a little bit longer? But the answer to your, the basic answer to your question is yes, but that depends how much time you put in. And that's a lot of time. And, even, and then by the time the test comes, you're going to be probably brain dead, to be honest. But like I said, the question is, why would you want to wait a week, do it in a week? I'm trying to book for my driving lessons first. I booked for a driving test. Questions why? If, you have, if you're looking for driving lessons and then you book a driving test, will you be ready for a driving test when it comes round? You should always really book a drive, unless you know that you're ready for a driving test, let the instructor um, guide you. Because it's going to be harder to find an instructor when you tell them that you've already got a test because they won't touch you if you're not knowing they're ready. Right, most of you are saying yes. I'm assuming that's yes, it's been helpful. Click twice for one hazard you see for max scores, right? Click twice for one hazard you see for max scores. You're clicking twice to get a score you're hoping to be max. That's what I would say. So, you know, like I said, you're not, you're not click. For me personally, I'm not teaching you to click to get maximum score. I'm teaching you to click twice to get the score you require to pass the test, which is more than three. If that makes sense. Let me just do another video and hopefully it makes a bit more sense. Um, let's do this one. This is a double hazard as far as I'm aware. Right, so it's got two fives. Ideally, you want an eight or a nine brings your average up. So I'm clicking to get a score. Hopefully it's more than three because they all add up. So I'm not clicking to get a high score. I'm clicking to get a score, which is more than three, if that makes sense. So, so roadworks, I could click on the roadworks, but I'm not going to. Car parked up on the left, if I'm a meter from the curb, I can't be a meter from the parked car. So I'm gonna have to come out, check my wing mirror. Looking in the distance for any hazards. Black and white poles, zigzag, zebra crossing and there's people nearby. Oh, that's well late. So that's one hazard, that's the one that's caused me to slow down, or in this case, stop. Again, I'm looking in the distance for any problems. The car is over the white line. So it's reducing my space, less space, less speed. So cars over the white line, the vans behind him, so that is going to be a problem. So again, you can see the video slow down. So that's another problem. Again, I think I messed up on these videos altogether. But hopefully I get scores. So you can see five on the first one, three on the second one, eight. Like I said, ideally an eight or a nine on your double, it will bring your average up. Again, let me review it so you can see it. Let me just fast forward that. So again, looking in the distance, I'll pause it. The clues, zigzags. Black and white stripes on the floor, the black and white poles left and right suggest a zebra crossing. You check your mirrors on approach to a zebra crossing. There's people walking nearby that suggest they're gonna cross. That was a little bit late if you see the first flag. But like I said, it's about me getting a score. That's all you wanna do. And hopefully that score adds up to more than 44. Okay, let me fast forward this one to save time. The cars are over the white line. Let me pause this. Over the white line is on my side of the road. For those of you taking driving lessons, less space, less speed. So the slower you want to go when your space is tight. Now, if you watch the next one, the car's over the white line. The van's wider than the car that's behind. So that's definitely going to cause me to slow down even more. And you can see in the video, I've actually almost come to a stop. And that's the reason why that is what it is. 
So again, hopefully that's helpful. Again, let me just catch up with the chat. I'm new here and I've have failed two times now, but since I found your channel, it's just changes the way I understand the question. So I've already booked another theory test in September in Luton. Oh, you're in my manor, Luton. Um, again, if you've got any issues, join Discord first and foremost, and let me help you out in there. Um, you're from my neighborhood. Cressa, no problem at all. Can I please choose a clip in a busy town? Um, I'll come back to that in a minute, Patricia. Um, one of my school in has position was cancelled. I'm assuming because you got a zero, because you clicked too many times. All the video is saying is you click too many times for that particular video. All you've got to do is change your clicking habits. You can still pass with zeros. It just means you have to get more fours and fives to bring the average up. So if you get a zero, don't freak out about it. You can still pass with getting zeros. Um, so I'm just going back through these. Right. A busy one, I don't think I've got a busy one in town. I don't think I've got a busy one, Patricia, unfortunately. Uh, let me do this one. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with this one. It's not necessarily busy, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Um, basically for Tracy, because she mentioned about clicking twice. I'm going to click once. And this is what, ha this is what could happen if you click once. Hopefully you can see that. So speed limit signs, I'm going to click on that because I don't want to speed up if someone's about to overtake me and fill the space. Again, when you're driving, you should be looking ahead, scanning the road from left to right. So the corner shop, if there was something coming out of there, I would click. But because there's nothing there, I don't need to click on that. The petrol station and the road to my left, again, nothing's coming out. So I do not need to click again, looking ahead. The woman, sorry, zebra crossing, black and white pose. The woman in the blonde hair, click once. I've seen the woman, I've clicked. That's the one that's caused me to slow down and stop. That's the one I'm gonna get marked out, get down, get marked on. Get my words out. Zero. That's what happened if you click once. For those of you that's not seen the Hazard Perception video that I did, um, a deep dive, go and watch it. It tells you exactly why you do not click once. Let me review it back so you can see. As I said, I'm gonna speed it up to save time. Look, there's my flag, there's the circle. I've seen her. It means nothing if you see the problem. That's what I'm trying to show you. You're not clicking, it sounds weird, you're not clicking on the problem. You're trying to get a score. That's the most important thing. Let me do the video again with two clicks and see what happens. So the way it should work, the speed limit sign. I don't want to speed up if someone's about to overtake me. Click, one, two, you click again. Because you need your clicks to be consistent. You can't turn it on and off. You can't click once here, twice there. So you don't know when the problem's coming. So again, when you're driving, you should be scanning the road from left to right, right to left to see any issues or road signs. So ahead, black and white stripes suggest zebra crossing. I'm clicking for the woman, blonde hair. One, two, I click again. So as we know, that's the one that I'm gonna get marked on. And there's a difference. That's roughly where I clicked last time. I've seen the woman, it's not about me seeing her, 
It's about me getting a score. The second click gives you the score. And that's how it works. I, I repeat, as weird as it sounds, you're not looking for the problem, you're trying to get a score, but you see the problem, you click one, two, if the first one didn't get the score, the second one should get the score and it adds up to your 44 over time. So hopefully that helps you guys out with that. Let me just see the chat. So Patricia, uh, Patricia, hopefully that helps you out because you're the one who asked for that perception. Thanks to you, I was able to pass my theory test. It's after 50 out of 50, guys, you get a 50 out of 50, well done. And 65 out of 75, again, a high score. So you hope you just saved my skin. Thank you very much again, much love. I appreciate that, and again, congratulations to you. Well done to you, 50 out of 50. Nailed it. I heard there's, uh, there's dedication for you. I was on the bus doing it on his phone, now he's on home PC. Well done to you, Mark. Dedication. Appreciate that. Okay, no problem. But hopefully that helps you out. Tracy did. Yeah, click twice, but don't go click, click. Go click. One, two, click again. On the rule test, it's all CGI clips and it's slightly slower as well. So you've got more time to see it and obviously it's clearer and it's on a larger screen as opposed to you guys doing it on your phone or a tablet. No problem, Patricia. So hopefully that did help you guys out. So remember, it sounds weird. You're not looking for the problem. You're trying to get a score, but click on the problem and then go one, two. So if the first click didn't land, the second one should give you a score. And over the 14 videos, hopefully you've got three or more, and that's gonna give you a 44 in terms of passing. So if you guys got no other questions, I'm gonna say well done to you guys for passing this week. For those of you that's got a driving test and theory test this week, um, I wish you luck with that. Let us know how you get on. Um, come back next week or jump in this call. For those of you who are struggling with your theory test, who haven't already, I know a lot of you has jumped into this call already. So I'm going to jump in there now and start to say hello to some of you guys. So if you guys want to have a little chat and conversation in this call, feel free to jump in there. We can always jump into a room. There's a chat room in there as well. Yeah, let's do that. For those of you that's joined, if you've got time, jump into Discord. I'll meet you in the rec room. For the rest of you guys, I'll see you next Monday. 4.30, enjoy the rest of the week, stay, stay blessed, stay safe. For the rest of you guys who's got time, jump into the rec room now on Discord and I'll meet you in there.